So Russia has unveiled a new fighter jet. People are calling it a direct competitor to the American F-35. The U.S. Air Force is unrelenting in its efforts to remain the most powerful and unbeatable force this world has ever seen. This maniacal drive to dominate the air has driven the Air Force to invent the unimaginable, and recently, it has admitted to developing an incredible fighter jet that crushes all competition. What new technology is allowing the U.S. to build such jets? How is it better than fighter jets from China and Russia? Join us in this video as we explore how the United States Air Force just admitted they created a fighter jet so advanced it can't be stopped. It is a fact that a nation's air force is as great as its air power, which is measured by the quality and quantity of aircraft it possesses. Few other metrics for evaluating the air strength of a nation include the capabilities of its personnel, logistics, infrastructure, and its readiness to embark on missions. The United States Air Force ticks all these metrics with pride, elevating it above its close competitors, such as China, Russia, South Korea, and India. The fascinating part of the USAF's air dominance is that its air power is greater than that of the next five air forces combined. The USAF has 13,247 aircraft, which make up 25% of the world's military aircraft. Not only does it have more battle-tested aircraft in its possession, the USAF personnel are also the best in the world, with Air Force hardware like the F-22 Raptors and F-35 Lightning fighter jets. The USAF is well equipped for air combat in different terrains. These fighter jets are incorporated with stealth and maneuverability capabilities that make them a thorn in the enemy's flesh. Despite successfully establishing its Air Force as the leading army in air warfare, the United States is far from satisfied. They keep widening the gap between them and their rivals through advanced military technology research and innovation. These military hardware programs have yielded results that are a marvel in air warfare. NGAD, the United States Air Force is leaving no stone unturned in its mission to remain the dominating air power in the years to come. Rivals would stand no chance against the USAF when it is done with its sixth generation air initiative termed NGAD. NGAD, short for Next Generation Air Dominance, is the latest project in the US books of military innovation. NGAD is being birthed to be the successor to the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. As it stands, the F-22 Raptor is a beast in terms of air warfare, and it has successfully kept many of the U.S. enemies in a lash. Now, imagine the military deploying a greater aircraft into the air. No doubt the mere thought of this sends shivers down the spine of enemy air forces. The NGAD program is taking off with a manned fighter aircraft as its masterpiece. This spectacular aircraft is referred to as the Penetrating Counter Air PCA. However, PCA won't do the work alone as it would be assisted by an uncrewed collaborative combat aircraft, CCA, or loyal wingman platforms. This manned-unmanned teaming is one of the history books because it has opened up a new portal into aerial warfare. Although most of the development of NGAD is still shrouded in secrecy, there is no doubt that the Air Force's latest golden child has superior capabilities compared to the other generations of aircraft. As expected, NGAD will be ingrained with stealth capability. However, it will take stealth technology to another level by making it undetectable within the enemy's radar. So, it will be invisible to radar-guided and heat-seeking missiles of enemy forces. What this means is that the U.S. can fly undetected in enemy territory that has been deemed impossible. With the NGAD's advanced wideband stealth, the U.S. Air Force can perform reconnaissance missions and launch attacks on enemy forces without knowing of an impending attack. The NGAD's propulsion is powered by twin engines that provide greater thrust and fuel efficiency, giving it a greater edge than today's aircraft propulsion systems. Another feather to NGAD's propulsion system is that it minimizes heat emissions that might reveal the aircraft's presence. To show the Air Force's determination in achieving this type of propulsion, it awarded contracts to three airframe integrators and two engine makers with the mandate of enabling propulsion systems for future air dominance platforms NGAD is towing a different line regarding materials used for building aircraft. Unlike many fifth-generation aircraft built with metal, NGAD aircraft will be built with lightweight composites. Using composites means that the aircraft will have greater strength. Furthermore, these lightweight materials will enable a greater fraction of the aircraft weight to be dedicated to payloads. 
The combination of the twin-engine design and lightweight materials equips the fighter to perform more effectively in the vast distances of the Western Pacific. NGAD's unrefueled range is far greater than the fifth-generation fighters, which is a plus when flying over contested airspace. As you may have guessed, NGAD will host a range of advanced weapons that shoot down enemy aircraft and surface targets. The weaponry is divided into kinetic and non-kinetic weapons, and it will be supported by the plane's electronic warfare system to direct lethal energy against hostile targets at the speed of light. NGAD's agile electronics make it an unrivaled air warfare fighting machine. Its electronic warfare suite is used for detecting, identifying, and defeating threats, and it has agile coverage of all relevant wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum. The aircraft has powerful processors and advanced software that enables it to maintain comprehensive situational awareness while in operation. No enemy aircraft is sneaking up on the NGAD. If other world powers still think of defeating the U.S. in an air battle, they should quench such thoughts because it will not happen. NGAD's onboard sensors and electronically steered pulse radar give the pilot a comprehensive picture of the flight environment over great distances. It further merges diverse indications into understandable displays for the pilot to make informed flight decisions. Using sophisticated algorithms means the pilot's responses to compressed information are largely automated, reducing reaction times. Despite being designed to operate autonomously, aircraft in the NGAD program are not without help. A network of friendly aircraft assists them in complementing their onboard capabilities. NGAD isn't going to war alone. You can bet on this. It becomes more scary when you get to know that NGAD has under its control multiple drones called Collaborative Combat Aircraft. These combat devices greatly increase NGAD's survivability and winning chances when faced with enemy aircraft. The NGAD's designers deserve more than a medal for ensuring that every feature in the aircraft's design will be continuously adaptable to emerging demands. The manufacturer's decision not to use proprietary hardware and software is a testament to NGAD's out-of-this-world claim. This singular decision prevents over-reliance on specific suppliers and maximizes flexibility in countering emerging dangers. This means that NGAD is being designed to adapt to the fighting threats of the future. So it doesn't matter the type of military equipment Russia or China would develop, NGAD can always be upgraded to match it in warfare. We owe the stellar innovation of NGAD to the 2014 DARPA studies. The research explored concepts for air superiority systems for the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy. Based on that report, the United States Air Force initiated the Air Superiority 2030 Flight Plan, which is the forerunner to the NGAD program. Unlike the traditional Air Force acquisition process, it's not business as usual with NGAD because its design, production, and support functions in the development process have been separated. Furthermore, the program is being supported by a $9 billion budget till 2025. NGAD is designed to meet the long-range and short-range battle needs of Air Force fighters. One variant of NGAD enables a long-range payload for the Indo-Pacific while the other variant is customized for relatively short ranges between possible battle areas in Europe. When asked, Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall was unwilling to reveal the cost of each plane in the program, yet we can expect that the development cost will reach hundreds of millions. Kendall confirmed this himself when he said, it's going to be an expensive airplane. This is the Air Force's way of admitting that they have created a fighter jet so advanced that it cannot be stopped. Furthermore, in May 2021, Chief of Staff of the USAF General Charles Brown Jr. stated that the NGAD will start to replace the F-22 Raptors once it's operational in sufficient quantity. From the Air Force's body language, it's predicted to launch about 200 manned NGAD fighters. You can bet the U.S. enemies won't be pleased to hear this. B-21 Stealth Raider Bomber If NGAD impressed you, USAF's planned launch of the B-21 Stealth Raider bomber should get you jittery. This bomber is expected to enter service in 2027. Developed by Northrop Grumman, B-21 is designed as the successor of B-1 and B-2 bombers. Once the favorites in aerial warfare, the B-1 and B-2 would give way to far superior aircraft. Although the B-21 bomber utilizes the same flying wing design as the B-2 bomber, it has a much smaller design. Unlike the B-2, which has a payload of 60,000, 
The B-21 will carry a 30,000 payload. The bomber will employ stealth technology at least two generations ahead of the B-2 bomber, attesting that it is a superior air fighting machine. The B-21 stealthiness is so advanced that it is undetected by radar technology, so it can fly over airspaces unnoticed. Thus, this makes it the right pick for long-range aerial attacks in contested airspaces in the early stages of a conflict. The arrival of this brutal aircraft into aerial combat means that many countries would think twice before going against the United States. The USAF plans to use the B-21 bomber in high-end areas as it works in support of the nation's nuclear deterrent policy. With advanced military equipment like the B-21 Raider, many countries will fall in line as they wouldn't want to come face to face with the nuclear and conventional weapons carried by the bomber. The U.S. Air Force partnership with Northrop Grumman is about to birth something we have never seen before. The military contractor is leading the Air Force's mission to have strategic dominance over the skies. Still under development, the B-21 Raider bomber is a long-range stealth bomber that has been touted to be the nightmare of U.S. rivals such as Russia, China, South Korea, and North Korea. The strategic bomber is expected to deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons, making it the most advanced military aircraft ever built. It's the Air Force's first new bomber in over 30 years. This explains why much of its design and development has been classified. Yet there have been some revelations that attest to the stealthy jet's superiority in aerial warfare. Northrop Grumman has described B-21 Raider bomber as the world's first sixth generation aircraft. The B-21 Raider's ability to deploy nuclear and conventional weapons makes it an uncommon threat in air battles. That's not all. The B-21 Raider is a digital bomber, employing agile software development, advanced manufacturing techniques, and digital engineering tools that reduce the production risk of the B-21 program. In 2016, then-Secretary of the Air Force was quoted saying that the B-21 would be a fifth-generation global precision attack platform. However, upgrades in the aircraft's design means that the USAF will be getting a sixth-generation fighting platform. Currently, there are six B-21 Raiders in various stages of development, and they will soon be assemble and test run at Northrop Grumman's plant in Palmdale, California. The contract for developing the B-21 program was awarded to Northrop Grumman in 2015. Recognizing the importance and urgency of the mandate, the manufacturing giant wasted no time in assembling a national team of over 8,000 people. The team, which includes Northrop Grumman staff, industry partners, and the Air Force itself, is focused on delivering an unmatched sixth-generation aircraft. The B-21 program employs an open architecture design that fosters rapid upgradability. Unlike the B-1 and B-2 aircraft, the B-21 Raider will not undergo block upgrades. In the future, new technology, capabilities, and weapons can be easily incorporated into the aircraft through agile software upgrades and built-in hardware flexibility. So, whatever threat rears its head, the B-21 Raider will be more than ready to face it head-on. This mind-blowing military aircraft will be designed with manned and unmanned capabilities that validate its position as the backbone and future of U.S. air power. By integrating data, sensors, and weapons, the B-21 bomber enables combatant commanders to hold any target anywhere in the world at risk. The B-21 Raider comes with a mix of standoff and direct ammunition that cements its place as cutting-edge fighting equipment. Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma, will handle the maintenance and sustenance of the aircraft. Edwards Air Force Base, California, has the honor of leading the testing and evaluation of the aircraft. Furthermore, when Northrop Grumman finally delivers these aircraft to the United States Air Force, it will be operated from bases that currently host heavy bombers, such as Dias Air Force Base, Texas, Ellsworth Air Force Base, South Dakota, and Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri. The B-21 bomber is designed to be the lead component of a family of integrated systems that will deliver intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The bomber's electronic attack and multi-domain networking capabilities enable it to operate in a dynamic global security environment. The B-21 Raider bomber is named in honor of the Doolittle Raid of World War II, when 80 airmen led by Lt. Col. James Jimmy Doolittle worked with 16 B-25 Mitchell medium bombers. The actions of these men changed the course of World War II, 
so it's only right that they are celebrated and honored because they inspired much of the U.S. air superiority progress. Although this is yet to be confirmed, the B-21 program could include uncrewed long-distance wingman drones specifically designed for the Raider aircraft. This would be a great addition to the other assets of the program, such as ground stations and satellites. These assets will coordinate and communicate with the bomber in its attacks. The USAF plans to have a minimum of 100 B-21 Raider aircraft in its service by 2040, which would gulp billions of dollars. Due to how classified the project is, authorities are unwilling to release the estimated program cost. Nevertheless, by the time the aircraft is launched, we will get a fuller picture of how much went into its production. Furthermore, there is a possibility that the B-21 Raider would replace the B-52, which has been planned to remain in service for many years. Loyal Wingman 1 would expect that the ongoing development of NGAD and B-21 Raider aircraft should stretch the USAF to its limit in its advanced aircraft design pursuit, far from it. There are other innovative military equipment currently being designed by USAF military contractors. One example is the Wingman Bomber, nicknamed the Loyal Wingman. The Loyal Wingman is a proposed unmanned combat air vehicle, UCAV, that will be ingrained with artificial intelligence, AI, enabling it to collaborate with sixth-generation fighters and bombers such as NGAD and B-21 Raider. The Loyal Wingman is unlike the conventional UCAV currently in operation as it can survive longer on the battlefield. More so, its design allows it to be constructed at a lower cost than manned aircraft with similar capabilities. This is a big win for the USAF because they are spending less on the Loyal Wingman, yet achieving the same or even greater results. The Loyal Wingman drone is a component of the Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA, and it can carry and deliver significant weapon loads. Compared to a human pilot-driven aircraft, the AI system enables the plane to be lighter and of lower cost. The support systems incorporated with the Loyal Wingman equip it with superior flying and mission execution capabilities. As the name implies, the Loyal Wingman would work with another main aircraft, most likely manned by a human pilot. The purpose of the Wingman Bomber is to elevate the role of human pilots to mission commanders while it leverages its AI potential in tactical control during field missions. Whenever the need arises, the Loyal Wingman will wear the hats of a sensor, a shooter, and a weapons carrier. The incorporated intelligence and onboard defense systems mean this UCAV can survive on the battlefield without help. The Loyal Wingman is expected to act as a force multiplier in the operations of a human crewed aircraft. It will extend the area of airspace that a manned platform can cover. The good news doesn't stop here, as the Wingman will extend combined sensor coverage, giving room for the primary manned aircraft to reduce its own aggressive sensor use, reduce emissions, and minimize the chances of detection by the enemy. It wouldn't be wrong to say that the Loyal Wingman exists to make life easier for the primary manned platform. This explains why there have been calls to integrate it to support sixth-generation military technology such as the B-21 Raider and NGAD. Another advantage the Wingman brings into aerial combat is its ability to multiply the number of weapons available to the mission. So it's not just operating as a shotgun sidekick. The AI capabilities of the Loyal Wingman mean that the human pilot of the manned aircraft doesn't have to worry about controlling the drone. The Wingman is a big boy that can take care of himself. Thus, it reduces the pilot's workload, who can conveniently focus on the overall mission. The US is not the only one with eyes on the Loyal Wingman concept. Countries like Australia, China, Russia, Japan, and the UK have been exploring this concept leading to several Loyal Wingman programs at various stages of development. Nevertheless, if we look back at the United States records, we can be assured that they would be the first nation to deploy the Loyal Wingman into aerial combat. In addition, we can bet that whatever Wingman bomber design the United States creates will be far greater than that of other nations. Project Mayhem It's typical of U.S. military innovations to be classified due to security reasons. Yet, the high level of secrecy given to Project Mayhem is unrivaled. For some time now, the U.S. Air Force has been building this game-changing fighting machine, but has been very tight-lipped about its development. Recently, new details have emerged on this secret program. Project Mayhem seems a befitting name as it encapsulates what the USAF's secret hypersonic bomber can do. 
Officially, it is known as Expendable Hypersonic Multi-Mission ISR and strike program codenamed Project Mayhem. The hypersonic bomber will employ intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The bomber is expected to replace the legendary SR-71 aircraft. To show its determination to bring Project Mayhem to life, the United States Air Force Research Laboratory awarded a $334 million contract to several engineering companies, including Draper, for the designs, prototypes, and tests of the bomber. The military equipment contractors have been given no ordinary task because the bomber is expected to travel at hypersonic speeds. The heat produced from the hypersonic movement makes the construction and testing of the plane difficult. As tricky as this sounds, the manufacturers are already finding their way around it. The hypersonic bomber boasts some advantages that place it ahead of its missile-based adversaries. The aircraft can travel in excess of Mach 10 and can be refueled and used again and again. The planes in Project Mayhem would use a multi-cycle propulsion system and employ a jet engine to reach Mach 3 before transitioning to an air-breathing scramjet for hypersonic speeds. Completing Project Mayhem means the United States will establish its superiority in hypersonic defense technology. The distinct propulsion system of the scramjets means that the planes can travel as high as Mach 15. The launch of the hypersonic bomber will be a bigger win for the USAF compared to the hypersonic missiles. Although the hypersonic bomber is highly destructive, it is an economical alternative to hypersonic missiles. The ability of the hypersonic bomber to fly in excess of Mach 10 means that there is no chance at all of the enemy missiles catching it in its run. It would be wrong to think that these are the only high-end military hardware being developed by the United States Air Force. USAF is very good at keeping secrets, and we only know what they allow us to see or hear. There are still some hidden air fighting equipment programs that we are yet to know about. Hopefully, the USAF will let the cat out of the bag in the coming years. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. For more mind-blowing and educative videos like this one, click the next video on your screen.